What's up everyone, my name is Donovan and in this video we're gonna talk about how to make $1,000 per day with a truck. I'm gonna point out right away that it's easier to make money with a truck and trailer combo. So that is what this video is gonna be catered to and that's also how I do it. So that's how I'm gonna make this video. And just so you guys know, I'm not talking out of my ass. Here is my truck and trailers in this clip here. Hey guys, real quick, I'm gonna show you the trailers that I'm talking about. Here is my 16 foot trailer with the four foot high walls on it. It's just a simple framing with plywood and two by fours. There is my enclosed. And then off over here in this pile of shit is my other 16 footer. So you can get away with just having a 16 footer like this one here. It cost me about a thousand bucks to get it all together. I had to buy new boards for it. Uh, so that cost me a little bit, but basically a thousand bucks got that one and then if you absolutely can't get one of those I would recommend getting one like the one you see tucked away over here which is a smaller uh, 10 by 5 it's that way you can use both your truck bed and the trailer but I recommend just getting the 16 foot to start that way you have the most versatile thing uh, to use from the jump and then in case you guys were wondering what kind of truck I use, this is a 1999 Chevy pickup. It's the 2500, so it's 8 lug and got the heavy duty rear end and transmission. But you don't even need anything fancy or a brand new truck to get started. I mean, you can see I'm, look, I'm using a 20 plus year old truck here, so you don't need the top of the line shit to get started. Alright, so now that you know I'm not BSing you, let's get right into the video. So first off, how to make money with a truck and trailer combo. The best way that I've found to do it is through moving, deliveries, and junk removal. So let's start with deliveries. Deliveries is through stores, and it's really just any item that a homeowner with a small car is not going to be able to get to their house. So it could be a TV, it could be furniture, it could be appliances, anything like that, or it could be larger items or materials such as building materials or certain equipment, again, that anybody with a car wouldn't be able to get to their home. So the best way to go about doing this is with a 16 foot trailer. That's what we started off doing when we were doing deliveries. And it's also what we started with for junk removal. It's pretty versatile and that's gonna be the cheaper trailer to get. You can typically get them for about $1,000 in a local market if you're getting a used one, of course. So from there we have junk removal. And junk removal is pretty straightforward. It's just any items that a homeowner would have in their yard, their garage, in their house, their attic, that they wanna get rid of and they don't have means for getting rid of it in the normal trash. You can't just throw a freaking couch in with the trash. So somebody's gonna have to get rid of that for them. And if they don't have a truck or they don't have a truck and trailer, or even if they just don't wanna deal with it themselves, it's a great way to make money. And granted, you can use just a truck for some jobs, there are jobs that we do that are only truck bed sized amounts. So you can do that in the beginning. But again, I recommend getting a trailer for that because it's going to allow you to land larger jobs and just be more versatile and make it a lot easier on yourself. In the clip that you saw before, you saw my 16 foot trailer with the four foot high walls, as well as the other 16 foot trailer with the one foot walls loaded with stuff. We use pretty much any trailer that I have for junk removal, sometimes even the enclosed ones if we're on a moving job and we just throw it in there when we're leaving because some people will wanna get rid of stuff after their move. Really just any trailer would work for that operation. It's just best to have one that has at least four foot high walls on it or if you want two foot high walls, if you're gonna be getting smaller loads, just something to help you hold everything in place and not have to worry about it blowing out on the highway because that's going to be a huge issue. So from there we have moving. How we got into moving was actually through doing a delivery for a junk removal customer. They were at a local store that doesn't deliver their furniture. So she gave me a call because she was a previous customer. We went and moved it for her and we got plugged up with that store, started doing a lot of deliveries. And with that moving is definitely, um, a higher tier service it's not as simple or straightforward as just delivering things or 
as junk removal is. So I definitely recommend doing your research as far as setting up a LLC and getting proper insurance for it because you don't want to damage someone's goods and be liable for it. You'll be underwater before you even get started. So definitely look into doing that properly. And I would also say that you're going to have to have a little more capital to get into that. That trailer that I have alone was 2,800 bucks as compared to a cheaper thousand dollar trailer, but it was well worth the investment because we have something that's enclosed and people aren't worried about their belongings and we're able to move larger amounts of stuff in one trip. Um, and even then that's still not the most ideal uh, setup for that. That's just what we got to get started and we've been using it since. Whenever we need to, we just rent trucks for the larger moves. That's pretty much how to make $1,000 per day with a pickup truck and trailer combo. Even if you just have the pickup truck, you can do most of these things. You're just gonna be limited to the size of the jobs, like I said. Now, how do we advertise to get these jobs? You can really get started and get the, get the ball rolling pretty quickly with free advertising. You can start with Facebook, Nextdoor, Craigslist, and just using those three stay pretty busy. That's how I started. When I first started with junk removal, I was just posting on Facebook every day in the groups and I still continue to do that. And that's where a lot of jobs come from. And on top of that, we have of course a website and other forms of guerrilla marketing. And then if you saw in the video, my signs on the truck and on the trailer too, but you can really get started with just Facebook and Nextdoor since they, those are free and easy options to use. And then I would also recommend using Craigslist because now that it is a $5 per ad platform, depending on your area, it limits the amount of people that are on it. Most people that used it when it was free would spam the hell out of it. And now that it's not, your competition on that platform is a lot lower. So there's more headroom for you to make money. Another great way to advertise for this is going to be reaching out to local stores. So I did this for one of the stores that we hooked up with as well. I just gave them a call and asked if they had anybody that delivered. They said, no, bring in your info and we'll give you some paperwork and then you can deliver for us. And that was basically how I got hooked up with another store. And that's how you can do it as well. Just call your local stores, especially the ones that you don't see delivery trucks for and just ask them, hey, if any customers uh, need something delivered, how do you guys go about it? And if they say, we don't have anybody, give them your info or ask if you can bring in a, a few cards for them. And most of the time they're more than happy to take that information. That way they don't have to worry about losing sales and having customers that are pissed off because they can't get what they bought delivered and they can make the whole process seamless. From there, how to scale this. The best way to scale this is going to be advertising, buying more equipment and getting help. So through advertising, you're going to want to start paying for advertising whenever you are actually getting money. So I wouldn't suggest doing it when you're first starting out, but once you are actually gaining traction and getting to that thousand dollars per day, then you're at a point where you can spend that money and afford to have a marketing budget and get more jobs. And you'll definitely know when it's time to do that because you'll be right there at the point where you have a decent amount of work, but you could have more and you can feel like I'm pretty busy throughout a day, but if I spent some more money on advertising, I could be this much busier and have help with me as well. So all of those points of the scale, as far as scaling the company goes, you're gonna know when you're pretty close to them due to those, um, those indicators. And then as far as equipment and help goes, you're gonna know when you need equipment and help because those are gonna go simultaneously. You don't need more trailers or more trucks unless you have so much work that you need another helper and another truck to send somewhere else when you can't be in all places at once, or it would just make your life a lot easier and your workday shorter if you had help to begin with. On um, most furniture moves, we're using uh, at least two people. We never really send one person out by themselves just because it's so much easier. And most of the time you can't even move any of those large items by yourself unless it was something like a fridge. But even then it's just safer to have two people at all times. So you'll know when you need help and then when you need more equipment as well. That about wraps up how to make $1,000 per day with a pickup truck or a truck and trailer combo. It's pretty straightforward and really the best thing to do is just to get into it. 
You can test your market with just a pickup truck if you don't want to make that investment initially and buy that trailer whenever you have enough data to prove that the business is viable and that you're making money and that you're going to be able to supplement income and pay for it pretty quickly. But yeah, other than that, it's a pretty good business model and there's huge potential for money and huge potential for growth in most markets. And you'd be surprised at how many people have cars and don't have even a truck to move stuff themselves. So there's plenty of opportunity out there to get started and get going. If you like the video, please leave me a like and uh, comment down below how you are making money with your truck or how you're making money with your truck and trailer. And if you have any input, feel free to leave it in the comments below as well. And subscribe to the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos on these kind of topics.